Eric, thanks for your time today. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about joining up with the uh, Texas Brahmas. How was the transition for you coming in and uh, especially working under uh, Coach Wonger? Um, well, coming into camp, uh, it's pretty nerve-wracking, you know, first, uh, first try at pro hockey and you know, everybody's unsure who's going to make the team, you know, don't know what to expect, you know, see the Central League for the first time, all different players and stuff, but uh, I've uh, really enjoyed the style of play that pro hockey is. Um, it's quite a bit different than college. There's more, I'd say, thought to the game. Um, it's college is a really fast-paced kind of crazy style, whereas pro hockey is a little more calculated. You know, you got older guys. You know, they've been around. You know, there's a lot of smarter plays and things like that. Um, you know, the physicality is up from college hockey, which I think is a big part of my game. So I enjoy that that aspect as well. Oh, coming in, you're coming in with a group of uh, younger players, and for the first time, the Brahmas uh, roster was made up of uh, you know a, a number of rookies. And uh, you know, how was that in in order to gel with a bunch of guys, uh, you know, being basically the same age and coming in with the same experience? Um, it's actually been a great experience so far. We, uh, like you said, we have a young team. We have uh, when we first got in here. You know, we had a big team meeting where Fawner addressed everybody and everybody got to know everybody. And one of the things he said is he did his recruiting for this year based on character, not based on skill alone or stats or what people have done in the past. It was more based on bringing in a team of guys that could be a team. And uh, I think that's really important. If you want to win a championship, you got to have a team. You can't have a bunch of individuals. And I think you can see it on the ice as well as in the locker room as everybody gets along. You know, like you said, we're... A lot of guys the same age, a lot of young guys just out of college and stuff. So there's a really good chemistry amongst the team. And I think uh, that's been part of the success we've had this year so far. What about Fonger as a coach? Uh, how does he differ uh, compared to other coaches you've had in the past? Um, well, like I said, the pro style is a little different. You know, the way practices are structured and things like that. Um, I really like our hockey philosophy around here. It's based on hard work, being accountable, um, and having solid defense and uh, so far I really liked it and I think um, throughout the years started to find my way into this system and this style of hockey and Bonner's philosophy so I, I'd say it's been a really positive experience and that side of things. I noticed uh, more as the season went on that you've established yourself as uh, more and more of a physical player and uh, you know a fighter when need be. Uh, was that true in your past or is this something that, that's coming about now? Um, I'd like to say that for the majority of my hockey career, um, big part of my game is being physical, you know, big hits, irritating people, you know, getting on the other team's skin and kind of being like, you know, more of an aggressor, that type of thing. Uh, in juniors, I fought a little bit, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say that I'm a fighter per se, but I mean, I enjoy doing it sometimes and uh, it's a big part of the game and it's a big part of pro hockey. I mean, fans love it. and. It also, it makes a big difference for your team. Sometimes it's a momentum swing. Sometimes it's trying to get, you know, someone on the opposition in check, you know, keep people honest, you know, stop the guys from taking runs at your, you know, skill players and that kind of thing. Talk a little about goaltending. Uh, you know, big shift uh, this season, yet Steve Silverthorne come in, you know, basically brought in to be the number one. Uh, and then you have Googs, you know, and really two different types. You know, you got a, a veteran out there, a little bit more serious, and then you got the rookie, a lot of fun, I and mean, the kid's just crazy. Uh, you know, what, what was the difference playing, you know, in, in your role as a player, what's the difference of playing with two different types of goaltenders as far as, you know, how they are as individuals, but how they are also in the net? Um, yeah, you know, they're kind of a different personality, both of them, but, uh, on the ice and during the game, they're actually real similar. They're both super vocal guys, and uh, that's huge for a defenseman. When your goalie's talking to you, he's telling you, you know where he wants you to be. Maybe if you got time, if you don't have time, and both Steve and Goose all the time talking to you, and they're both good goalies. So you know you can see our goals against is the lowest in the league, and that's a huge part of that is because of those two guys, especially you know Goose later in the year, like really turning it on. Mm -hmm. As uh, Silverthorne departs for Germany and, and Googs kind of steps up into the number one position, you know, as a fellow rookie, is that kind of cool to see a guy step in and, and do as well as he's done and get the attention that he's gotten as well? Definitely, because, I mean, 
a huge part of playing in this league is guys having aspirations to move up, make the American League, make the NHL, get noticed, get looked at, maybe go over to Europe or whatever. And anytime you see like a younger guy having that kind of success and getting that attention, it helps everyone else because, you know, maybe more scouts in the stands or whatever. The team success, anytime your team's successful, you know, you have a better opportunity to move forward in your career. So it's been really good and it's exciting, you know, for, for Mark as well because, you know, he's really turned a lot of heads this year coming in. Yeah, Adam Hogg is your captain. Uh, you know, what, what's the experience been with him as uh, captain? Uh, you know, how has he really led uh, some of the younger guys on the ice and off the ice as well? Uh, Adam is a, is a phenomenal guy. He is uh, arguably, I'd say, one of our hardest working guys every single day, practice, game. He's always accountable on the ice. You know, he does his job defensively, and especially in the last you know month, couple months here, he's just been tearing it up. He's been scoring a lot of big goals. A lot of game winners and if and if you look at the kind of goals he scores they're harder goals he's in the crease he's taking a beating every night and you know one of our big focuses this year and some Dan talks a lot about is having a second and third effort on a puck or in a battle you know the first effort is going to be there from everybody but if you have that second third effort you know that's going to be the difference maker and that's where a lot of his success has come from is there a particular team uh, that you've seen during the regular season, whether it be once or several times, that you found either more annoying, more competitive, uh, somebody that's more of a challenge? Uh, I love playing against that one. Every night, it's physical, it's a tough game. You know, especially right now, we're both competing for that second place spot. And, uh, you know, there's a long history between the two teams and it's, it's a really easy game to get up for and to get pumped for. Fans are always more into it. Um, I really enjoy playing them. I'm looking forward to this weekend. And even though they haven't had that much success this year, we've had a pretty good rivalry going with Laredo. I mean, we've had some, we had that big loss to them and a lot of one goal games with them. And, you know, they're a feistier team and they kind of play hard and have that work ethic similar to ours. So those games are usually pretty exciting as well. So rookie year, and you're on the verge of uh, entering your first uh, pro playoff uh, series, and, uh, notably against the Allen Americans. It looks like, uh, is no doubt. Uh, what's your feeling coming into the playoffs, and, and you know how do you feel about uh, that? You know, coming in your first year. Um, it's exciting. That's what everybody's here to play for: is to win in the playoffs and to win a championship. And uh, I think for us, starting to have a little more success and like finding our you know, finding our style and what works for us and what we need to do to win. And it's important to find that now in the season. So when playoffs comes around, you know, everybody's gonna be ready. It's, uh, you know, playing college for the last four years, three game series, you know, best of three, you know, one weekend, it's over. Whereas this is the real deal, you know, seven games, it's gonna be a grind and uh, it's exciting. What's the confidence level of the guys? I mean, going into this, uh, how do you feel? Do you feel you've gelled? Do you feel you have more to work on? Do you feel that, uh, you know, you can do this and the cup's within your grasp? Uh, you know, we, uh, we have a different, uh, a different style on the ice than most teams. We don't, you know, we don't often go out there and, you know, make all these pretty goals and, you know, run up the score. When we win a game, it's because we earned it, we had to work hard to win. We can't, you know, we're not one of those teams that can just, you know, turn the switch off and turn it on. You know, we we earn our wins and we earn our success. And I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, everybody around the locker room is pretty confident in our team. And, uh, you know, we're, we have solid goaltending, good defensive core, and really hard working forwards, you know, and it's all coming together right now. And uh, we're really confident coming into the playoffs. Eric, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks.